Really? So do you believe any of the stories? I don't know. I don't want to. <laughs> So do you know what skinwalkers are? Okay, well, we'll talk back at camp about this. Because we're near Skinwalker Ranch. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? Hey guys, we are here at Moon Lake. Just getting our camp set up and taking in this beautiful view of the lake. Sadly, it just had a fire a couple years ago. So it is kind of growing back slowly, but this is one of my favorites from when I was a child, teenager. Moon Lake is my stomping grounds. And it was time to come back. Did you tell them that it's haunted? This is one of the <laughs> most haunted places in Utah. Anybody that spent any time up here can testify that. It's, it seems like everybody that spends a significant portion of time, they know the story of the girl that drowned in the lake, all that sort of stuff, but also one of the best places for UFO sightings, if you believe in that sort of stuff. Um, lost Spanish gold, supposedly, hidden up in the mountains here. And we have been down at the Moon Lake Festival learning all <laughs> about that. But there's evidence to suggest there's some real weird stuff <laughs> that happens up here at Moon Lake. And hopefully we can see some of it. We are out at the Moon Lake gathering with some of the foremost experts when it comes to kind of more unique things of Utah, especially with old Spanish gold and maybe ufo slash alien type sightings sasquatch all those sort of things and i know some people are like oh that stuff all is fake blah 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 but here in utah if you've been around the uina basin area you know all of the happenings with skinwalker ranch ancient spanish gold because the spanish used to travel through this area and there is a lot of evidence of these things happening so we're going to cruise around the fair we're going to check out all the cool stuff and talk to some of the foremost experts in the area this is going to be rad you ready for this kara i guess <laughs> I uh, lived here until I graduated, so majority of my childhood was here, and we are second generation, third generations almost, out here in the basin, and we've always heard these stories, whether we believed them, not believed them, some people are firm believers, <laughs> and uh, Moon Lake being one of those haunted lakes. It'll be interesting to see uh, what people here have to say and uh, and what their stories are all right I'm geeking out a little bit I really need one of these this is a Fisher metal detector um, he's gonna have us actually try it out in a second but all made in the USA this thing would be fun everywhere we could go we could just you know pay for our trips with what we find for sure right <laughs> this is really cool so it's set up for jewelry but I can do coin, artifact, which is relics. I can customize it. I can do all metal. And then it goes back to jewelry. Oh, cool. So I've got it set up for jewelry right now because it's better in this condition. Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm going off what I've seen in the movies. <laughs> All right, two pennies so far. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Your hall. Oh. Uh, so this was just a test run, right? Mm -hmm. You can do this as much as you so. So they're five cents. Five, five cents. So I always like to see people when you do it. So the best way to do it is be low to the ground. Oh, okay. So I maybe was holding it up too high. A little bit high. Okay. You'll lose a little bit of depth on that. So okay. Just like this. So just barely brushing the ground. Yes. Okay. So it makes it a lot easier to find. Oh, so it like right down. Mm -hmm. It's a pinpoint. Oh, cool. So. If you're looking to get married and you wonder if the girl's a gold digger, if she has a metal detector, she's a gold digger. Did you find something this time, Kara? I think I actually got something. Oh, what you got? And my little machine has gone off too. Yeah. I'm holding it in my hand. Yeah. Well, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? Yeah. That's fun. It'd be fun at a campsite, I think. Yeah. I think so. Now, the reason people think that there's Spanish gold out here is because the Spanish used to come in from Colorado, all the way from Santa Fe up, they'd come in from Colorado and cross through the Uinta Basin here, end up over here in Utah Valley, then head south on their way to California. So for 50, 60 years, Spanish wagon trains were going through this area before the old Spanish trail was created. And lots of interactions with the Native Americans, lots of exploration, all that sort of stuff. So that's why they think this is one of the big hotbeds for all this old Spanish gold as they came through here before the mountain man era and all those sort of things. And when the mountain man got here, there was already stories of old Spanish gold. So maybe where there's smoke, there's fire. But that is cool. This is great map on how they could make it through here. Coming down through Strawberry Valley, coming out in Spanish Fork, then heading south. Oh, if you're in the Uintas, it rains on you. And we just had one roll through, looking like another, but just beautiful up here. I think Kara's getting dinner going. What are we doing, Kara? Uh, of course, we're doing brats on the grill. Uh... And that's it. <laughs> yeah. And store-bought salads. And crappy salads. Yeah. Luckily, Nathaniel brought broccoli salad and quinoa salad. Yeah, Nate and Allison came through. Coming in for the win. Allison yeah. made them. I brought dessert. One thing we haven't done yet with the bean is we need to get the Thule rack put up here so we can do an awning. Comment below if you have it, what awnings you use, what you'd recommend. I've seen the 23-0 and a few others, but gosh, just haven't decided yet. But with all that rain we just had, we were standing under this tarp. We kind of jerry-rigged a tarp as quickly as possible and stood under it while everything got drenched. An awning system is probably a must do now. Let us know what awning system you have, what works for you, what your experience has been, because standing out under the tarp in the rain wasn't the funnest. So yeah, time to make a purchase, I think. Heading down to walk along the river. I've been telling Natalie and Allison about the haunting, about the little girl that drowned and how they see her walking on the beach at night walk along the beach. If you've never been to Moon Lake, it is awesome, but you have to take into account. Now, one thing, um, maybe you don't believe in the whole, you know, it's haunted from the girl dying and all that stuff, but we are not that far away from Skinwalker Ranch. And this is some of the area where the Native Americans believed that there were things that happened. Um, Kara growing up had always been told that the natives 
they didn't claim up here or come up here. Uh, they avoided it because people in the lake, they didn't come out. So, I don't know. Maybe you don't believe in hauntings, but this is probably one of the most haunted places in Utah. The hauntings, but your battery shut off as soon as you start talking about it. <laughs> GoPro died as soon as I started talking about it. Signs, maybe. Signs, maybe. Actually, the story, from what I understand, is Native Americans do not come here because one of their canoes toppled over and they never found whoever fell in. So they declared it, I guess, cursed. And supposedly they've never come back ever since. <laughs> well, and there's no bottom to the lake that they've ever found. Well, it's a natural crater uh, with a river feeding into it. And so it's just supposedly a continual just flow of water yeah, and bottomless and bottomless and never been able to find the bottom. It's very, very dark, very, very cold. Divers have been here, never found the bottom. And they claim it's the darkest place they've ever been. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. It there's just way too many things to be like, ah, none of it's true. Right. So but those canoes aren't sinking. Those are pretty cool. They're cruising, aren't they? They are like, whoosh. Yeah, that's a Salt Lake Paddling Club or something like that. Out here just cruising. Bra braving that cold water. Oh, because it is not warm. No. Not We're warm at all. <laughs> yeah. And they're out in their little suits, just in shorts, braving that cold water. <laughs> Even in the summer, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, I've never... Straight off the mountain. I've stepped in it and been like, nope, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. But let's keep on walking along. A little longer than a few minutes later. One of the great things is there is zero light pollution out here. So we are just kind of geeking out, looking up at the stars. And luckily Allison has this app on her phone because we do not know our astronomy. Just about to take off, just checking out the Moon Lake uh, Lodge, I guess, or store. If you are looking for a really cool place to come adventure, look for some old Spanish gold, maybe have some extra experiences, I mean, maybe you're into looking for Sasquatch or UFOs or all that, come on up here. The sky last night, it cleared up and the stars were amazing. Ah, so cool up here. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things. And enjoy your weekend.